Atlas, Atlas, uh, in the high, yes. in the hot seat tonight. And Atlas goes by the name of Atlas the bookkeeper. How you feeling, my friend? Now, folks, last night the King Street. Well, yesterday the King Street ended. Why did the King Street end? I'm going to tell you why. Because Black Myth Wukong sucks. It drops off in the middle of the game and is so fucking incredibly repetitive, boring, and devoid of creativity. No one cared. Like, when I started playing the game, the first few streams did really well. And what I noticed is as we got further, as soon as we started Chapter 3, all of the interest in the game waned. People were like, oh, this is boring. Why is it so repetitive? It's the same shit over and over. And they're right. Like, there's literally no defense that the game changes so differently in Chapter 3. You can tell they just ran out of ideas. Yet they want a long game, so they made it six chapters, when in the third chapter, the game's already boring, right? <clears throat> Essentially, it's this simple. The game is a boss rush with empty areas in between, no interesting world design whatsoever, but very pretty graphics. The problem is, that's not really enough to hold up a game. I hate to say, it just isn't. Like, I don't care about a boss rush game in 2024. I'm expecting more, especially when we just came off the Shadow of the Erd Tree DLC for Elden Ring, and that had way more interesting variety of environments, way more interesting bosses, quite frankly, because a lot of the times the bosses in Black Myth Wukong are just the same characters you've already fought, only now it's a tougher version. So it's boring as shit. Like, I really don't know what happened with this game, because again, it starts off so promising, but once you get to Chapter 3, it's like, okay, it's, it's the same thing again. They didn't, there's nothing here innovating at all. It's literally run around a bunch of empty areas that all look identical, get lost, fight a bunch of optional mini bosses that are constant, you know, and then wander around till you finally stumble upon where the story is. And that's not good. You want, you, when you play a FromSoft game and you get to a legacy dungeon, you feel like each piece of this dungeon was handcrafted specifically by the FromSoft devs to be interesting. Whether it's, oh, I wonder if there's a hidden enemy or a hidden area or there's a tough new challenge, or a platforming thing, or a secret that you can find. Literally, in Black Myth Wukong, all right, it's so ridiculously redundant that you don't feel like anything is special. You feel like you're lucky if you run, in, you run into an entire area, there'll be two enemies in a giant area, and one piece of, of willpower, which is the upgrade material, and that's it. But why did they even make this fucking area? It doesn't serve a purpose. It's just an empty area. It's bo boring. And there's tons of things like that. It, it doesn't make sense. It's not effective use of, of the stages. It's just really boring, okay? Now, here's the thing. <clears throat> here's the thing. If I had sat around and I only played Black Myth Wukong for two weeks straight, which is likely what most gaming content creators did, probably it would have had more attention, attained more interest, more support, and people would have liked it more because I would have been hardcore getting into it, all right? And I did do that to some extent when it first came out, but then what happened? We want you on our show as a collab, right? Um, we want to do some co-op gameplay. Oh, here's an interview opportunity. And with all these things happening, it just it threw my schedule for a loop. So essentially, this game is kind of like, I almost compare it to like how Baldur's Gate 3 was. This is the kind of game that maybe if you have insane amounts of time to de dedicate to just playing this game and you play the hell out of it, you'll probably enjoy it more. That's not me anymore. Do you understand? Like one point in my life it was. Not anymore. Now I'm a variety guy. I'm doing all kinds of stuff at all times now. I don't have the opportunity to just sit down and play one game for two, three weeks straight to hyper focus on it and then play it to the end and enjoy it. I'm going to be taking breaks. I'm going to be swapping games around. And this game, sadly, is just not that kind of game. This game is like you had to play it immediately from start to finish, and it just doesn't work when you break it up, you know? It's not that I'm forgetting how to play it. It's just that I go back, and I'm like, I'm still in Chapter 3. I'm still in Chapter 3. To give you some perspective here, my playthrough ends at 24 hours of gameplay. It's 20 parts, but several parts are an hour and a half long. So it's about 24 hours of gameplay. I counted last night. 12 hours of gameplay, half of my playthrough is Chapter 3. What the fuck? What kind of pacing is that? It's called lack of pacing. It's called the, the director of the game didn't know how to direct the game. And instead he got lost in chapter three and crammed an insane amount of content into it for no good reason. And it just makes the game so fucking boring. You lose your way and don't care about it anymore. And that's exactly what happened to me. <clears throat> First you end up seeing the snow area or you're like, oh, it's really cool. 
Then you go to the prison, and the prison is a slog. It's boring. It's repetitive. It's confusing. It doesn't explain what you're supposed to be doing. It's a little different from the rest of the game. You finally get through the prison. You get back to the, to the ice area. You're like, okay, this is cool again. But then you realize, what the hell? It just goes on and on and on and on. And it all looks the same, and it's all boring, and it's all confusing. And it's funny because I see people in the video comments saying stuff like, well, it's meant to be that way. So it's meant to be bad? I mean, you're, they're like justifying, well, it's meant to be that way. I don't know why you're complaining. Because it's boring. <clears throat> I'm not bored when I play a legacy dungeon in a FromSoft game. Ever. Like, never. All right? When I, I just played another Crab's Treasure, another Souls-like spinoff, I was never bored. Never bored playing it. I had a great time the entire game. Okay? I'm fucking bored to tears as soon as I hit Chapter 3 of Wukong. That's a problem. That's, I mean, it's a major issue. The combat is all right, but it becomes incredibly repetitive. The, the, the structure of the game, run around empty areas till you find a mini boss, is incredibly repetitive. The story is non existent. The story doesn't even make sense. You're trying to figure out what the hell's going on. You can't. You basically have to go study Journey to the West and then try to apply the story of Journey to the West to this game to even interpret what the hell is going on. So, why do you think I maintained a 41 stream streak of support, but then it died yesterday? Because no one cares about Black Myth Wukong anymore. It's fucking boring. There's no way I can make a game like that entertaining and fun. I can't. You literally keep wandering in circles endlessly. It's so boring. Then I finally get to the boss, the final boss of the stage, and he's incredibly poorly designed. First, you fight a first phase. Okay, that's great. You beat the first phase. You go into a whole new area, and you're fighting a completely different boss. Okay? You beat that boss. Oh, wait, it's not done. Wait, what? No, we just want Chapter 3 to be over. No, it's not done. Welcome to Phase 3, where you got to do all this fucking platforming, climbing past these enemies, and then you got to fight the fucking boss another time, and it's even harder, and now there's a new element you never had to do before, blowing off Super Armor. No, no, fuck you. <clears throat> fuck you. That's boring. I'm tired of this. I want to make progress. When you play a video game, you want to feel like you're making progress. That is the number one problem with Black Myth Wukong. You don't feel like you're making progress because the game is too open, boring, repetitive, and it's a slog. I don't feel like anything when I play a FromSoft game is a slog. I didn't feel like that with Lies of P. I didn't feel like that with uh, Another Crab's Treasure. So it's sad that this game that's trying to do something a little different is actually quite boring compared to all of its other contemporaries. It really is. It actually is, to me, the most disappointing uh, Souls-like I've played in years because it starts off strong with great graphics and such promise, and then it just fizzles the hell out in Chapter 3, and I just don't want to play it anymore. I don't see myself playing it. when I could. To give you perspective, yesterday during the podcast, we had over 600 viewers, okay? By the time that I was playing Black Myth Wukong consistently, we got into it, I was down to only 300 viewers. I lost over half my audience because people thought the game was so fucking boring. So what am I supposed to do about that exactly? Right? I, pff, nothing I can do. It's the game. So that streak ended yesterday. Yeah, and it's because of the game, and that sucks. It really does. You know, working hard, getting hype, crushing the fucking detractors by hitting those goals every single stream, and then it fucking fizzles out because the game is boring. It's like, well, ugh, that fucking sucks ass, you know? I am, sadly, beholden to the content I'm putting out on a stream. If I'm doing an interesting interview, if I'm doing a fun collab, if I'm doing an appearance, if I'm doing a hype podcast with an interesting topic, that's cool. If I'm playing a game that started good and then fucking falls off a cliff, I, I can't make the game good again, right? I just can't. So, <clears throat> it sucks. That's my final thoughts on the game. Starts off strong, has great promise, amazing graphics. But once you get to chapter three, the entire game falls off. It doesn't know what it wants. It's boring as shit. And then the funny part is, as I'm telling everyone my thoughts about this in this chat yesterday, a lot of people say, you know, I don't want to say nothing because it looked like you were liking the game. We all agree. We, you know, we got past you. This game is boring and repetitive. It's not fun to watch. It becomes boring to play. And basically someone in chat was like, yeah, I'm in chapter four. And chapter four is literally just a bunch of repetitive caves that all look exactly the same. And you just fight spiders a million times. It's basically the snow stage only in a cave and it's spiders instead of these fucking zombie things. It's exactly the same again. I was like, well, fuck this then. I'm not even going to waste my time on it, you know? That's just sad because there was so much hype behind it. And to see it fizzle out like that, 
is it's just sad, you know? But it is what it is. So anyway, I'm done with Black Myth Wukong, and those are my final thoughts. Now, in regards to the streak, yes, it is true. The King's streak of hitting this goal ended yesterday, all right? But then it restarted, because last night during the Street Fighter stream, we hit it again. So... We're going to restart it, and we're going to see if we can maintain. Today, I'm playing a game that people have asked me to play for months, and it was donated to me to see me play it today. You would think that would mean that would motivate people to come and buy today and support the stream. So I'm just going to say it right up front. Please support the stream. Let's hit it. Let's get that streak going again. Because right now, one is not a streak. Two is. So let's do it immediately. Those of you who are here to chill and have fun, and you like the content, and you're upset that the streak ended yesterday, and you want to see it restart, and you want to see me keep crushing it every single stream, let's get it going. Please contribute to the stream. I will give you shout-outs as you contribute. In fact, I'm about to do shout-outs right now because we're going to move on to our next topic, and obviously I want to, I want to finish this up first. Okay. So, let's do it. First off, on the YouTube side of things, Soul Potato... Became a member this morning. I really appreciate that. Thank you so much to Soul Potato. <clears throat> and uh, thank you for, I believe, it. you know, he's been a, a member for quite some time. And he was just re-upping. So thank you for that. Okay. Um, Reyna has done a super chat and says, Phil, I'm a college student writing a case study paper. I'm hoping to interview you. I sent you an email. Let me know. I'll have to look. I didn't see any email from you. But my most emails hit my spam folder because so many people email me with a bunch of bullshit. Not saying yours is bullshit. I'm just saying so many idiots email me a bunch of bullshit that my spam folder gets crazy with the amount of stuff it, it flags. Uh, I can take a look, but I'm just gonna be honest with you. Right now, I am so effing backlogged with with work, trying to get new games, trying to make consistent content, clipping my content every day. Uh, I got an interview this week, and then I'm trying to l line up more content. You know, soon the Kino Casino guys will be coming back by the end of September, and literally, I'm gonna be jumping into that. I got guys from uh. Uh, what's it called? Cultaholic, who want to have me on as a guest. And I'm like, I got all this stuff going on. I'm going to be honest with you. I don't think I'm going to have time to be doing an optional interview here for your, your 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 project. All right? I really just don't foresee myself having that kind of time. All right? So I'm just being honest. But I will look for your email. And I appreciate your super chat. Um, Number one, T Gravy Z fan did a series of super chats. First, he says, would you give LTG a hug on stream? No. I'll put up $100 towards a money match with you two. Okay, good for you. Um, sadly, I don't think he ever wants to play me. And then he says, I don't think it's bad. I think you're bad at it. I'm not bad at Black Myth Wukong. In fact, I'm one-shotting most bosses. It's not a big deal. The game itself is actually not that tough. The problem is it's boring. It has nothing to do with difficulty level. I haven't run into a single part of Black Myth Wukong that was too tough for me. And I was like, oh, no, I can't beat it. I've, I've easily <clears throat> been wiping the floor with this game. The problem is the game is boring. So you're completely incorrect. And then... He says, LTG poops in his tub and stomps on the poop chunks. Well, I guess that means you probably live with him, right? Or you hide in his house, and you pop out, and you see him doing these things, right? Because I don't know how else you would know that. It's pretty disturbing, actually. Okay. And then Skylar just did a super chat. Would you play NBA 2K25? I would like to see you do a WNBA playthrough. Uh, no. <laughs> no, absolutely not. Uh, I'm not interested in NBA. I'm not a sports guy. And then Games That Matter did a super chat. And uh, and basically did a very insulting comment. So I'm not going to read that. You know, I don't read offensive stuff on my streams. But I'm definitely not going to read that. Uh, I would recommend you do not say stuff like that in my chat or else you're going to get yourself banned. Because this is YouTube. This is not kick in another place where you could say that kind of stuff. Okay? Just being honest. Uh, you can't do that stuff here. All right? So I appreciate your super chat. But consider that your one warning. You can't say shit on YouTube like that. You get in trouble. <clears throat> okay. Reina, yeah, I'm always going to be honest. I'm not going to, I'm not going to lead you on. It's not that, let me put it this way. It's not that I'm not interested in helping someone out with a college project. It's that right now I am being pulled in 27 different directions and my viewers themselves are telling me you, you're behind on everything. And I'm like, yeah, you're right. So committing to something like that, I think it would be pretty unfair to you because who knows if and when I'd even have a chance to do it or look at it. And I don't want to promise you something and then I, ne I never do it and then you get in trouble for it, right? So I would definitely recommend you look somewhere else. <laughs> I doubt I'm going to be able to do it. 
Number one, T Gravy Z fan did a super chat. He said, I think deep down you have respect for LTG. You know, to some extent, sure, I guess. A guy who has toiled away for many, many years and, you know, he has the ire of the internet on him. And again, unlike myself, I have no idea why he has the ire of the internet on him. I've seen ridiculous clips of him saying stuff, but, you know, I don't really know. So not necessarily respect, but maybe just some feeling like I've been through that shit too. But a lot of people tell me he deserves it. And I'm like, well, I don't know. I don't, I don't follow the guy. I don't really know his history or anything. All I know is that they say he's the black DSP. There you go. Games That Matter did another super chat. Wow, thank you for this. A 20 euro super chat. Says, I listened to Asmongold yesterday. I went and bought Black Myth Wukong. Now I played it for 10 hours, and I now agree with what you said, and I'm in deep regret. Yeah, you know, it sucks. And it, the thing is, what I've noticed is recently these years, right, these last five years or so, either everyone loves a game or everyone hates it, and it seems like there doesn't seem to be differing opinions. There's just a bandwagon mentality for, st for shit. And in the case of Black Myth Wukong, I think what happened is a lot of people played it early and loved the first chapter, the first two chapters. I agree there. I actually think the first two chapters are great, but then you never hear anyone talk about the rest of the game. Right? Because I don't a lot of people probably never played that far. They just did that's that's all a lot of these content creators are. They play the first two chapters and they never fucking go any further. Right? So and by the way, um by the way, yeah, for you know, if, I think that there have been some content creators that whatever they say, people believe it. And I really do feel that like people gotta kinda be a little bit more skeptical, right? And I'm not saying anything about Asmund Gold. If he loves the game, good on him. You know, he brought, he does like certain kinds of games and he does dislike certain kinds of games. Um, in this case, I don't like the game by chapter three. I think it's boring. And that's my take. And you can disagree, but that's just my personal preference and take. Uh, if he liked it, good on him. But yeah, I just sadly think that uh, it's a game that's way overhyped for what it is. Again, if you only played the first two chapters, you'd be like, whoa, this game's amazing. And then once you get to chapter three, you're like, oh, what happened? <laughs> Um, so thank you so much, guys. Super chats this morning, very good right now, and I appreciate that. Wow. Um, by the way, if you're